So as most of you guys know, we're surrounded by these towers, and they are giving off really bad stuff for us. EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies, basically radiation. Basically cooking us like we're in a microwave slowly and also being used for other nefarious reasons. Well, here are some ideas to really seriously protect yourself while you're at home. The first thing that I want to bring to your attention is lead paint. Lead paint. Lead paint was banned in 1978, and the reason that they gave the public was that more lead was found in children's bloodstreams. Now, first of all, if you want to get around all of that and protect your house with lead paint, you just use it on the outside of your house, and there's absolutely no worries. As far as the roof goes, they sell clear coat lead encapsulation. So it's just like a clear paint, but it's lead. So you could paint over your shingles if you really wanted to, which I'm probably going to do. Now, remember, lead is the stuff that they put in the vests when you go in for an x-ray so that the radiation doesn't hit all of these other body parts. You can cover your house with that. How cool is that? For what is going on right now. I mean, if you want to get somebody a birthday present or a Christmas gift, this is it in my opinion. And you can buy it five gallons at a time. 350 bucks, five gallons, just a little more expensive, but oh well, who cares? Here it is. The second thing is for your curtains. You can buy these, which are EMF protection curtains, so that you can literally just protect yourself from anything they're a little more expensive but it's up to you another idea that i was thinking about is to line your curtains with real tin foil now here's another thing that they took off the market years ago because real tin foil actually does protect you from emfs electromagnetic frequencies radiation you know how they say wearing your tinfoil hat? Well, they show you people using aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is not the same thing, not at all. Real tinfoil protects you. So if you want to buy a big sheet of real tinfoil online and then line whatever you want, put it wherever you want, but you can protect yourself at least while you're at home from these EMFs. I spend most of my time in the house so this is going to be really good for me. And I wanted to share these solutions with you guys because we are in a war. Make no mistake about it. All these things are around us, not for our convenience, but to hurt us. That's why it's called smart technology, because the word smarts means to hurt. That's why they name bombs smart bombs. Bombs to hurt, okay? So that is smart technology. Now, one thing to think about is that if you do this, then it's possible that you won't be able to get, to get connection with your phone or with all these wireless things that people use. So you'll have to go um, cable to cable, right? Which is fine, which is good. People should just keep it on the cable anyways. Or if you want to use your cell phone, just go to the window, the curtain that you have bought an EMF curtain for. And open it up and just use your cell phone where your window is and then close the curtain when you're done. It's as simple as that. So here are some real ways to really protect yourself while you're at home. God bless.